Hey friends, today we are gonna do a spooky themed Skyliner crawl. We're gonna hop around to all the different resorts and try their Halloween favorites. Anywho, let's go do this. I put together a spookfully spookful team and look at this. Look at us, we're all dressed up in our Halloween favorites. I'm so excited for this. Our first stop is going to be here at the Beach and Yacht Club and then we're going to come back, board the Skyliner and head to the other resorts and like I said, try all of their Halloween favorites. Whether it be an alcoholic drink, a Halloween cupcake, a Halloween milkshake, trust me, there is a lot. And here's a little preview of what our boarding plans are going to be like. We're going to do obviously the Yacht and Beach Club, Riviera, Caribbean, Pop, Art, and I don't know about Hollywood Studios, but we'll see. And here we are inside the Yacht Club for our first official stop. Look at all the Halloween festivities staring right at us. I just love seeing Halloween decorations no matter what. But the reason we're here at the market is like I said, we're going to be indulging in spookfully good treats and some Halloweenish alcoholic drinks. And they might have a couple of things here. And here they actually have mostly spookful treats like this graveyard tiramisu, which I absolutely love, and then a seasonal cupcake. So we're all going to get a different one. Along with the spookful seasonal treats, they have some seasonal drinks at the coffee bar, including a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, look at this pumpkin delight. Fancy! Extra. Ooh. This is my Lawrence special. I love it. Look at that. Enjoy. Look at this thing. Lawrence hooked this up. This is a lot of sugar. This is a good start. Now we're going to be full of energy. Cheers. Pumpkin spice latte. Cheers. Pumpkin spice cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that is spookfully fun. Yes. <laughs> a lot of Halloween puns. Look at all of these nifty treats right here. I'm, I love tiramisu. I don't know if I say it right, but you can tell I'm trying to say it properly. <laughs> and look at the cupcake, seasonal. So and then that, is that the plant-based one? No, this is just a, whoopie a, pie. It's a whoopie pie. Oh. It's well. two pieces of cake with uh, like a cream cheese filling. Thanks for being whoopie. <laughs> Take a look at this. We're gonna actually share all of our desserts. We're gonna cut it up and we're gonna put it on each other's tray. I don't wanna break it though, because it looks so pretty. Look at those pretzels. I look know. at that lady finger. Huh? Yours is the hardest to break. I know. Okay, so mine's the whoopee ears. And look at all these. This is a sugar overload. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, we like are I really said, starting we're with gonna sugar be hyper. overload. Yeah, Very I'm gonna start hyper. with an ear. The tiramisu, definitely my favorite. In fact, I'm gonna take that whole bite. Tear it up, Nate. Tear up the tiramisu. <laughs> so now we're all done and we're gonna move to Beach Club and get their Halloween specialties or desserts or drinks, whatever it is. So mask on and let's roll out. Are you? Nope, that should be good. Now we're gonna make our way to Beaches and Cream where they actually have a spookful milkshake. And like I previously stated, be prepared for lots of Halloween puns. I'm just in the spooky season. And here we are at Beaches and Cream. We actually don't have a reservation, but they have a walk-up availability. So we're gonna get our milkshakes inside and uh, just check out the new place because I haven't been here since the remodel yet. It looks so awesome in here. And we're so lucky that we got a table, but they definitely socially distanced a lot of tables. The drink that we're getting here is a pumpkin spice butter pecan milkshake. We were just testing the waters to see if I was going to actually butcher saying that. Because I don't do well with tongue twisters. But anyways, I'm excited to try it. We got a cheers. Look at that. Our milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> it is kind of hard to like, can, like process this, isn't it? I don't know. It is definitely a milkshake you have to buy to take a picture with. I can tell you that. I do like it only because I like like cupcakes and milkshakes mixed together. And if you just kind of like put a little drizzle of cupcake down in there. So what I like to do is like push it down a little bit more. Because like I said, I like the mixture of cupcake and milkshake. 
once I get a little bit more down, I think I'm gonna try to dunk it down in there and uh, mix it around a little bit. All right, we're gonna see how this works. I'm a little worried. Oh boy, okay. Nate's doing the dunk. <laughs> it works really well. You have to do it with your hands. Ah. Cupcake is so sturdy that it doesn't like. Oh, oh, wait, oh. oh. Wait, wait, what? Oh, oh, I oh. oh. <laughs> I took its hat off. <laughs> That's all icing. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, there it is. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. Now it's time to move along. Hey, Josh. What's that place called? This is Martha's Graveyard. Ah. And now I guess we'll just head back to the Skyliner and uh, officially resort hop and let the uh, Skyliner in the sky be our transportation. I like the way that came out. Skyliner in the sky. I can go twice as high. Why did I sing that so high? I liked it. <laughs> On our way back to the Skyliner, we come to an important fork in the road. Are you the person that goes under the bridge or do you go over the bridge? Do you guys go under the bridge or over the bridge? I've never so, gone under the bridge. We're going under the bridge. We're going under the bridge, alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much funner down this way, isn't it? Look at how creepy it looks over there. I like that. I don't know what that wall's for. It reminds me of Tower of Terror. Yeah, but what's behind there? There's nothing back there. And we are back at the Skyliner. I am so excited. This is the first time that I've rode the Skyliner since actually the parks reopened. So it's gonna be a little fun. Oh, here it comes, that first initial takeoff. I love this part. This is my favorite part. It just gets quiet. Yeah. But then I talk. Beginning. Yeah. And away we go! Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. Anybody need anything at the gas station? And here is our first stop, the Riviera. I'm so excited. Coming in. I love all the Skyliner stations. They're really pretty. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, anxiety. It's up to work we go. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Here it is, the Riviera. And we're going right upstairs to the lobby. And I always love the carpet in here. It's so soft. You guys remember last time we were crawling out there? Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember that? <laughs> and this is our stop, the Le Petit Cafe. They have some amazing Halloween offerings. They actually have probably the biggest selection of pumpkin and like Halloween themed drinks actually right here at the Riviera. We have the Harvest Cold Brew, the Pumpkin Glacé, and then also the Pumpkin Spice Latte. This is the one I'm going with, but I'm actually getting a shot of Bailey's in it. And here is the Pumpkin Glacé, and I'm so excited to add this Bailey's to it. What are you going to do with it? Like this. Nice. Oh boy. Oh, it's gonna fit. I might need to take a sip out. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, for us to actually make ourselves a little spiked coffee, we had to run down to Bar Riva because they don't sell liquor until three o'clock here. After three o'clock, they, you know, make like the traditional, like, you know, coffee with a little bay leaves or cool in it. So we ran down and brought it up, but you can get it here, uh, but not until after three. Cheers! <laughs> I can if you want, I just want to do it twice. No, go ahead. All right, it comes with this beautiful Riviera Resort RR sticker on it. As you can see, it is sparkly, it's shiny. Everything about this is shiny. All right, and I guess we just open the front, right? We did get the pumpkin mousse, but I thought it was just pumpkin mousse, and it's actually pumpkin mousse with cheesecake. Not a fan of cheesecake, but I'm still going to try it, you know? Probably won't like it, but I'll still try it. <laughs> oh boy. I need an assist. Here you go. I gotcha. Thank you. Your mask on your hat. On to your. There you go. Oh! <laughs> I really don't have high expectations. In fact, 
I'm looking to see if I can grab my drink quick to wash it down with. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try it. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad, right? I it can taste the cheesecake cheese a little bit, though, not too much. a little bit, but if it was too much, there's no way. Yeah. I, I would have grabbed the drink by now, so yeah. it's really not that much cheesecake. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I, I wouldn't eat it, though. That's it. One bite. <laughs> I'm done. The coffee is delicious. I think just adding the Baileys to it make it a little bit better, but still, if you like pumpkin, it's like a pumpkin pie flavoring, I feel like. The whipped cream, you gotta mix that together good. That's good stuff, and I like the setting in here. Like I like drinking your fancy yeah, coffees relax. in kind of like a fancy cafe, sitting in a fancy chair <laughs> with some fancy friends. <laughs> We're about to move on. I gotta finish this drink though. Gotta finish it. Oh, that's good stuff. Very good stuff. I'll tell you what, so far, it's been all about pumpkin. Pumpkin snacks, pumpkin drinks, but now we're heading to Caribbean Beach, and I think we're going to the Banana Cabana Bar, and I don't think they have a pumpkin drink there, but it is a Halloween alcoholic drink, and I'm excited for a little change. Too much pumpkin, never good. And since the Banana Cabana Bar is actually right next to Riviera, we'll probably just walk there and then grab the Skyliner over on that side because it would be kind of like a long walk and pointless to get on here to get off there to come back here. I dare you to make a uh, sand angel. <laughs> <laughs> and holy moly, I didn't realize this was so far away. That's all of the Riviera Resort and Caribbean Beach actually is right on the other side as well. And we still have a little journey to get to the cabana bar. It has been a long time since I've been back here. And wow, this resort is looking so great. After all that time of it going through renovations, I'm really loving it here. And here is the banana cabana bar. Actually our first lounge. I mean, you can kind of call the cafe at Riviera a lounge, but this is a lounge lounge. And this is what we have come for right here. Yeah, spooky rum punch. <laughs> We're calling Look it at that. this. And we get to keep the glow cube. You do the Ooh. Glow cube. Poison apple. I love it. And cheers to spooky punch. Oh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I'm so excited now. Oh, it is delicious. It is delicious. Oh. I really feel like this drink is a little bit strong, so we're definitely taking our time drinking this. <laughs> you gotta get every Sorry. sip. <laughs> what is it? Too, too much for you? It's no, it's good. It's it's a little it's a little help? strong. No, help no. <laughs> it's it's a little it's a little strong. Hey, I know it's not a Bud Lighter, right? It's spooky stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'm definitely taking this bad boy home. But you know what you can do? You can throw it in your water, wash it off a little bit. Yeah, but now your yes, water's tainted. Are. It's not tainted. <laughs> it has a little bit of a grape. Oh, okay. drink the apple. No. <laughs> the spooky drinks are finished. We are rolling out to our next destination for more spooky drinks. Not sure if that was spooky or creepy. Or creepy is spooky. Whoa. We're moving out. Grab myself a Bud Light for the road. Bud Light for the road. Banana Cabana, right? We had a good time. We told you. Banana Cabana. It's raining. Oh, it's starting to rain though, so we have got it feels to good. bustle now. It does feel good. This bridge is beautiful. I love it. Skyliner in flight. The future paging Mr. Morrow sunrise video. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that I needed to drink that very quickly because holy moly, we're like already at the Skyliner station. And we're going to Pop Century. The Skyliner station actually seems really empty here. Not a lot of people waiting. Fancy. And we're heading to Pop Century. Right this way. Whoop. Thank you. You know, something kind of funny. Alfredo was the name of the guy. <laughs> Hang on. It's gonna get a little bumpy. Oh, what did I 
I say? <laughs> And we are at Pop Century. If you can't tell by the Play-Doh, did you know I don't like Play-Doh? Really? I love Play-Doh. And we're heading to Petals, which is actually one of my favorite poolside bars. I mean, when it comes to poolside bars, uh, I just kind of relate with this one the most because I remember staying at Pop Century plenty and plenty of times. There it is, Petals Poolside Lounge. We're gonna see what kind of spooky drinks they have. Oh, I already see it. It's called Pops Potion. Look at that. That looks good. Look at this. This has to be the coolest looking drink so far. Right here at Pop Century. Petals coming in for the win. All right, we Can we do one picture. like with the, with the petals in the background like That's this? That's my camera though, Jackie. Oh. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> Gonna dip my gummy worm in the drink. When I dip, you dip, I dip. Dink, dink it. <laughs> dink it. Dink it and sink dink, it. Dink it and sink it. Change the name of it. Honestly, no. this is now my favorite Halloween drink. So far, I mean, honestly. We have finished the Pops Potion, and it was delicious. Absolutely. Now I got my uh, little uh, apple in my pocket, and we're good to go. And yo, 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 let's uh, get to the Skyliner. Was that cheesy? I like it. I like it. <laughs> the drink at Pop Century, well, the Pop Potion, was a very delicious drink, but it was nowhere near as strong as the drink at Caribbean Beach. I can tell you that right now. But now it's time we get back on the Skyliner. Let it take us to our next journey. Rough landing, hang on. Hey, here we are. Oh, Anybody know who oh. that is? Let me know in the comments Mama, if you know. Oh, I thought you were gonna give out the answer. Oh, well, <laughs> Before we actually get on our next gondola, because we we're at the transfer station. We need to take a pee break. I don't even know they had restrooms at this station. Right next to the Epcot station, they have restrooms. And did you ever see this poster over here? But this blows my mind. I want this. That is so cool, isn't it? Take the skyline or discover the world. Epcot. Bye, Jackie. Bye. <laughs> now we're transferring. Oh, oh. Easy peasy. Thank you, though. We're going to Epcot. Bye-bye. What's your question? Which Disney princess kissed a villain? Oh. Oh, uh, Jasmine. Yes, Jasmine kissed a villain. She kissed a villain. Hey, hey, Which Disney right. character has no lines in his own movie? Dumbo. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What is going on here? How old is Mickey? What? How old is Mickey? 82. 92? 91? 91. Yeah. Trivia expert, baby. We just did a flashback of Disney trivia at uh, yes. Port Orleans. Oh, oh my God. Champion. We're champion. We're champion. Yes. 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 She's She's 14. Yes. 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 My favorite oh, princess. <laughs> Here we go. We're crashing. We're coming in. Whoa, coming in hot. Coming in hot. I always film just in case something happens. <laughs> You never know. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. It always feels like you're going to be a Here we go. Oh. Good to go. Thank you, Alfredo. Bye. <laughs> and that's going to do it for me. I had so much fun. Wasn't it pretty cool to see all those Halloween food and drinks? The only thing is, it does take a toll on your belly. Really does. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Thank you to Josh, Taylor, and Jackie. Thank you so much. Helping me eat all that sweet stuff. So, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.